power line. Did you drop it off yet? Hey, yeah. I'm at the park. Let me know when you've made the drop off. I will. All right. Sir, excuse me. Are you leaving something? Sure, it's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, oh, yeah, don't worry about no, it. No, I'll get it for you. No, seriously. No, it's no, my it's pleasure. pleasure. No, it's whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> what, do you, what do you have in there, bricks? <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I gotta go. Have a good day, man. No, seriously, what do you have in there? Have you made the drop off yet? No. No, I was not able to. Something came up. It wasn't secure. I had to get out. Whoa, 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 wait. I need that drop off today. I need it. Negative. I may just be paranoid right now, but what just happened did not seem like some accident. No, Charles. No, no, no. I, I apologize, but our business as for today will not proceed. Charles! Charles! Fuck! Hello? What was that? He's getting away with the bag still in his hand. I don't, I don't know. He's, he's paranoid. It's some type of disturbance. He doesn't want to make the drop off. Find him, follow him, and convince him to make the deal anyway. Text us when you're settled on a location. What? What? Do what you Run. Get the money and fucking follow Fuck. him. Fuck! We have to talk. Please. To Charles, please wait. We have to talk. There's nothing to talk about, Carmine, all right? The deal is a no-go. We'll meet at a different location next week. Please, I need it today. I won't have the money next week. I apologize, but I cannot. We shouldn't be talking right now. Charles! If you're paranoid, we can go somewhere else and discuss it where there are no people around. Please, I need it today. I want to say I really appreciate you doing this for me today. I really hate to put you in this position, but um, thank you. I'm a very professional man, Carmen. I conduct my business in broad daylight, in front of civilians and families, because I want to portray the image that I have nothing to hide. Having said that, I will admit, I wouldn't have agreed to do this deal and proceed if you hadn't shared that information that you shared with me. I may not seem like a compassionate person. I may seem cold and calculated, but I know what you're going through right now because I've lived it before. I know what it's like to struggle and to strive for a single bit of profit in this business. I know exactly what it feels like. You have to understand that the most important yeah. part is that you can't trust anyone. Who do you trust? My brother. That's it. He's my business partner, my only friend. The only family I have left. We're all we have left for each other. You saved my life too. 
How? Well, a couple of years back, we were doing business with an old business associate of ours who turned out to be in cahoots with the DEA the entire time. My brother found out about his deception way before I did. And while I was waiting for two whole hours at the location where we were supposed to meet, my brother took care of everything. I found out when I got home. Nobody's ever seen that associate ever since. Like I said, you can't trust anyone. I should probably let my brother know that he should come pick me up. On the west side, right? We're yeah, almost there, yeah, right? Yeah, right around the corner. Okay. So who do you trust? Um, I trust myself. I guess that's the best way to go, huh? Trust yourself. Well, you can't really trust anyone if you can't trust yourself. We're here, right? This is it, right? Come on, this is uh, this is it. We're here, right? I can't do this. What? Get out of here. What are you? What are you there saying? There are DEA agents surrounding us right now. What? They're waiting for us to make this deal so they can arrest you. Get out of here. But, but, but. I'm sorry. You can't trust anybody. Go now. Carmine, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. What?
anyone. 